Hey guys, it's me Edgar here to do my review on Jane Foster Thor, uh, issue number one. And I just wanted to do my review on it because why not? Why not marathon the Jane Foster saga of Thor and we get to the old shit that I like. <laughs> and also the new stuff that uh, I like too. Anyway, the comic opens up we see a bunch of frost giants underwater attacking a base. And then we go back to where the moon, where all the Asgardians are there. Odin, three warriors, Lady Sith. And they're all like, hey, Thor, what the fuck happened to you? And try to pick up the hammer. And they realize, ah, don't worry, son, don't worry. We'll take care of this. Daddy's trying to pick up the hammer now. And he couldn't even fucking lift it. And this is the one thing I saw, and I'm like, hmm, this is interesting. Um, didn't he create the hammer along with a few uh, people involved with it? Didn't happen that way. He, he's unworthy either. And they find out Malekith is causing commotion, and uh, yeah, Thor leaves. And there were people out there saying it could be... Uh, the female Thor's identity could be Thor's mother. I mean, I had my theories, but uh, yeah. Um, long story short, Thor comes down to the base and with his battle axe. And uh, long story short, he tries to fight him. He gets easily get kicked the shit out of. Malekith grabbed his battle axe, chop off his fucking arm, and the comic ends where. We see a woman say there will always be a Thor, and she picks up the hammer, and pretty much it goes from there. The saga opens up from here. Um, this issue was really great. I enjoy this issue a lot. Um, and honestly, I'm going to say this right now. For all you Eric Masterson Thors, more power to you. I think that shit sucks, if you ask me. And I plan to rant on that when I get to it, on the Thor reviews. But, uh, yeah, um, I'm gonna say this. It's amazing. 9 out of 10. Greatness at its finest. Stay tuned for issue 2 later today. I'll see you guys next time.